is not a bullet. This is a laser bore sighter shaped like a bullet cartridge. This is the Marmot 223 caliber laser bore sighter. This is a sighting tool, not a gun modification. This allows you to properly align the sights on your firearm, whether they be iron sights, red dots, or magnified optics. Because having properly aligned sights is critically important to using your firearm safely, you need to be able to know where your bullets are landing um, and pointing your firearm in the correct direction and, ha and being able to hit what you're intending because if your sights aren't aligned, you're not using your firearm safely. And this helps you do that. And we're going to take a look at what you get in the box and how well it performs on this episode of Moondog Industries. This is the Marmot Laser Bore Sighter, and these uh, come in various calibers. They actually fit inside of uh, your, uh, your chamber and uh, literally uh, sight a laser down your bore. And this is the 223, or the caliber 223 sized. You can see the, it comes in these uh, little plastic cases, and it's made in China, but otherwise no other real branding on here. It just says Marmot Bore Sighter here. So let's see what's, what, what's inside here. You got your laser warning and your specs here. Little instruction pamphlet here. Bore Sight User Manual. So always read your user manual. All right. Uh, it does say to remove the plastic film before using, uh, and uh, it also shows a couple of different other calibers that this comes in. And look how cute this is. This is your bore sighter. It is the size, the same size as a standard 223 cartridge uh, case. So, but, well, of course, uh, because this needs to fit inside of your chamber, you load it in like a bullet, it takes the place of the bullet, and the laser shoots out of this end. Uh, down your bore and uh, to your target so that it helps. That's how you sight in your sights or optics. It comes with this, with, uh, let's see here, it comes with the button batteries. Um, these are LR41 button batteries. And it comes with a set of three. Actually, it comes with three sets of three, so that's good. It's useful uh, because you'll need. Uh, you'll definitely run through these. Um, these are fine. This is the one th reason why I don't generally like using these kinds of, um, of bore siders because they run on these little hearing aid button batteries. And because they're so small, they just don't have the same energy capacity as uh, larger uh, uh, bore siders that can use standard lithium uh, CR123 or, or what have you batteries. Um, these button batteries work, but they don't just they just don't last long. And certainly for you know two or three range visits, um, they'll, they'll, but then by by then you'll after using them, you, you inevitably will have to buy some more. So it's great that it comes with this with ex, with two extra sets. Um, definitely you'll need to buy some more uh, spares as you use this. Though hopefully um, most people don't need to to bore sight their sights as often as I do because I do uh, reviews now. Uh, they do recommend taking this plastic sheath out. Um, little hack here, though, you, can't, you know, don't really have to, at least in my experience. Uh, you, t you unscrew your, um, your rim to get at the battery chamber there. And let's see if this works. So otherwise, I'm going to be uh, pie in the face here. So you want to have the positive side facing out and the negative side facing the spring and the inside there. You just drop it in, and yes, it does fit. Now, because the plastic sheath is there, uh, it makes it harder to take out, but hopefully <laughs> we can get it out. Um, the manufacturer recommends taking the sheath off. Oh, there we go. So you just screw it in, and it already turns on. You can see the, the laser on my hand there. That's the other thing about these uh, particular types of uh, bore siders. Once you screw it in and it's on, it stays on until you unscrew it and turn it off. So you are using a lot of the power uh, constantly because you know once you get it in the chamber, you can't reach in there and unscrew this, and, and you have to pop it out. Um, so it's it's on for the for the entire duration that you have it in the in the chamber. Um, and um, like I said, these don't these don't hold as much battery life, so that's just something you have to deal with. So when you do when you're finished bore sighting, and we'll go to the range and do that. Uh, once you finish sighting your your optic or your your iron sights or or red dot, you take you pop it out of your 
Remove your chamber, eject it, and then unscrew this, and hopefully, let's see if we can get this out. Yep, there we go. Um, again, manufacturer recommends you take that plastic sheath off. I just kept it on because I could. Anyway, let's take it out to the range and see how well this works. We're at the Coyote Point range to do our testing, and I'm going to set up at 25 yards. You've been enjoying this video so far, so please hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Not only is it helpful for me, but it's helpful for you. This is how you can take control, how you can influence the AI, how you can override big tech's soft suppression of firearms content. So you'll see more videos like this on your feed as opposed to say, cat videos. Unless that's your thing, I'm not judging. So our first test is to see where this laser bore sighter is pointing, and I previously zeroed this scope at 100 yards with this rifle, so I feel fairly confident that uh, my shots are going to be landing between 1.5 and, and 2.5 MOA of the center crosshairs. And we can see here that the bore sighter is painting a dot 1 MOA to the right and 1 MOA above the center crosshairs, well within that margin of error. And I ejected and reinserted the bore sighter uh, two or three times and surprisingly enough it always landed pretty much exactly where you're seeing it here in relation to the center crosshairs. So the next step was to remove that scope and install a brand new red dot that hasn't been zeroed on this rifle. We'll be aligning this optics red dot with the laser dot that's projected on the paper target. And if all goes well, not only will we be landing on paper for the first shot, but pretty darn close to the bullseye. That is, if this thing works. All right, we're gonna try to zero out this red dot using this laser bore sighter. And we have it on, so I'm just going to insert it into the receiver and we'll see what we can see downrange. The bore sighter is telling me that the bore is set for the middle target there, but you can kind of see where the, the uh, bore sighter's laser is a little dimmer than the red dot is set currently. So I'm just going to adjust. I'm going to move that down and we'll move our windage. All right, I've moved my point of aim to the center orange dots, and we're gonna see where our shots land. So let's see how we did. And I could already see from here that we're within an inch or two of that orange sticker. And for a red dot, that's pretty good. So I'm going to say that this bore sighter works. Okay, so we know this laser bore sighter works. And I could easily see it with my naked eye at 25 yards. And I could actually make it out at 50 yards, though you really need to be in shade and have, you know, good eyesight. And yeah, theoretically, you could use this out to 100 yards if you had a really clear, bright, magnified optic. But again, it would all depend on how bright the conditions were around your target. The darker, the shadier the conditions around where your target is, the easier it is to make out the dot, and it's easy to lose it in bright daylight. But if you need a quick and easy way to get a decent zero, at least good enough to get on paper, well, this is a useful tool. And if you're interested in picking one of these up, I've got product links on my full written article on my blog, moondogindustries.com. And if you got something out of watching this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching. Moondog, out. We can all do our part to strengthen our sport by taking a noob to the range. Introduce them to a new hobby in a fun, safe way. Start by sharing this video with them on forums, Facebook, TikTok, Telegram, whatever. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com. 